and today we're going to make a little golf ball bug buddy. Now this is kind of fun for um, if you wanted to give it as um, a gift to maybe your dad or even your husband or something um, as something they could hang up and put on their golf bag so they kind of think of you when they're out there and you could also do it as maybe a Christmas ornament that would be fun. All you're going to need is a golf ball which is what I have here but I painted it a flesh color and you want an eye hook and the secret to doing the eye hook is you want it to, to break the um, outer shell of of the um, golf ball and I did that with a drill and I barely you know I, I didn't drill it all the way in I drilled it just a little bit and then the um, eye screw or eye hook or whatever it's called um, went right in without a problem at all so you do that and once you have, I have it on a, a wire here only because when I was working on it, I would hang it up to dry and then it would be out of the way. So I don't need to do that now. I'll probably put it back on because I'll spray like um, a final finish on there. And then I'll, you know, because I want that to show. Or I don't want that to have um, marks on there, so I'll hang it up. So once you have it, um, Paint it the color that you want. Let me zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to show you real quick how how easy it is to do the face. Um, you're going to take it, and I'm doing this backwards, so if it doesn't turn out perfect, you'll know why. And I have the end of the paintbrush. It's just a regular paintbrush at the end. I dipped it in white, and I'm just going to put a dot on there, and then another one. And you can roll, you know, the end around if you want the whites to be a little bit bigger. And then you're going to let that dry. While that's drying, you just take um, a permanent marker. And I'm going to try to do this where you can see it. And draw a smiley face on it. Or perhaps it's a grumbly face. Maybe we'll do that one this time. Maybe he gets frustrated while he's golfing. So we can go a little grumbly. Okay, there we go. Now on this one, I, I did do the smiley face, um, but you'll see that um, for the eyes, as soon as the white dried, I let the um, I took um, a marker and went over and put like the blacks of the eyes in. So you can do that, and we're gonna do hair. Now what I did here was um, I took some. Um, embroidery floss, you can do yarn, it really doesn't make any difference. Um, and I put it on with some glue. And then I let it dry and then I sprayed a final lacquer on there. I did overspray, so I do have some, some yellow on this one I'll have to sand off and um, clean up. But we can do that, you can put it anywhere over. But I, I'd like to take a paint that kind of matches. Well, we have this kind of a pewtery color this time. Or maybe it's a charcoal color, I'm not really sure. Um, and then I have a pewter colored um, acrylic paint. So I'm going to take a paintbrush, like a thinner paintbrush, and I'm going to draw some eyebrows on there. And then I'm going to go um, around the hairline, where I want the hair to be. And you can certainly make him, you know, make the hair anywhere you want. I'm just kind of going around so he's kind of bald. Because bald is beautiful. Match it up. There we go. Leave it like that. Or you can do the embroidery floss, which I like to do just because it gives it a little extra texture. So all I'm doing is taking um, the floss and I kind of line it up here to see where his hairline is and cut it. And I'm going to have bunches of little pieces like this, which then I'm going to take a little bit of glue and put on there and then put another coat of the paint over that when I have it, when I do have that on there. Okay, while I was waiting for the hair to dry, um, I put the black dots on the eyes and I cut a bunch of embroidery floss for the hair. So I'm going to flip him around now. I'll zoom in a bit. So you can see what I'm doing. And all I have is um, 
a little bit of white glue, regular um, the school glue, the glue all multi-purpose glue. And I'm just going to put some on his hair. And then I'm going to take the strands of embroidery floss that I cut already and then I'm just going to set them right on there, tap them down. They can be even, not even. You can trim them later if you want. If you want them to look a little, um, have a little, some crazy hair, that's fine too. Okay, when he's dry, go ahead and take the scissors and trim along his hairline just to give him a little bit of a cleaner look if you want. If you want him to look just as he is, that's fine too. And then what you're going to do is take um, the same paint as you put under it and kind of paint it over. And it kind of blends the whole look together. And then once you're done with that, you're going to let it dry. And then you're going to have the choice of um, either leaving it as it is or you can um, take a clear finish and spray it over. And that will make it wear better and if he gets kind of banged around on the golf bag or um, you know as an ornament hanging somewhere um, he'll be able to withstand a little bit more without being all beat up and there you go he'll dry we'll spray him and that's it so have fun with it thank you for watching craft clutch I always appreciate comments ratings and um, subscribers so we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching and happy crafting. Mm -hmm.